hello friends welcome back so i am with the another subject today that is uh, mathematics for the triple e students so its subject code is uh, bmat201 for the 222 scheme students okay so my dear friends this time vt has changed the whole uh, i cannot say the whole but uh, two or three modules uh, for each branch actually it was the uh, whole maths was same for the uh, each branch student okay so this time they have changed it so uh, for the triple e students uh, two modules are changed uh, from the mechanical as far as mechanical engineering department is concerned so only two modules are changed here okay so let me tell you today in this video how to concur this subject and which modules are the passing modules which you have to cover over there firstly you have to write those modules which are the passing modules which i will discuss in this particular video so my dear friends if you just want to pass uh, this particular subject okay so uh, some modules are passing modules and other ones i cannot say that uh, those are the passing modules actually they are the uh, vtu has just inserted those uh, particular modules which are new to the students actually it was not firstly uh, for all the uh, engineering students who are there so this time they have inserted it uh, into the syllabus over there okay so my dear friends first of all you have to focus on the module first that is the vector calculus it contains two chapters okay so first one is a uh, vector differentiation and an another one is a uh, vector integration over there right so you have to focus on vector differentiation as it is the easier one so you have to, i have written here that uh, prefer the first one okay so you have to focus on the first part also uh, first one only okay so vector uh, integration is little bit uh, tougher than the above one okay so in this uh, vector differentiation you have to focus on the problems like uh, find the directional derivative of uh, i have taken here the example x y square z cube at uh, points 1 comma 2 comma 1 in the direction of i cap plus j cap plus 2k cap okay so try two th two to three problems uh, from that particular part that is the directional derivative these are the simple problems my dear friends if you just refer your notes you can easily understand these type of concepts okay so another one is find the angle between the surfaces and i have taken here the equations x square plus y square minus uh, z square is equal to 4 and z is equal to x square plus y square minus 13 at uh, points 2 1 2 and these are the uh, important uh, problems from this particular section that is uh, vector differentiation so you have to uh, try four or four, uh, five problems from these particular concepts over there you have to find out the angles between the surfaces okay equations will be given so and uh, next one is uh, f factor is equal to curl of uh, x y cube z square and you have to find this uh, what we call the divergence of f and curl of f over there at point one comma minus one comma one over there so uh, these are also the simple problems which you have to focus that is why i have written here the prefer first one my dear friend so this is very simple uh, as far as the vector integration is concerned so there are the concepts like uh, stokes theorem and green's theorem you have to do the problems you have to write programs on the basis of green's theorem over there so it is a little bit tougher one so uh, go for the differentiation part and also try some solenoidal and rotational part and they will give you the equation so you have to find that particular equation is the solenoidal and sometimes it is irrotational okay so it is module one my dear friend so it is a passing module you have to focus on you don't have to leave anything from this particular part that is the first part that is vector differentiation you don't have to touch with the vector integration there will be no mixing of questions from the below part uh, into the above part okay so focus on this uh, vector differentiation and next one i will tell you that is the module fifth uh, which is uh, numerical techniques its uh, name is the numerical techniques it is also a simpler uh, what we call as module as far as the whole mathematics uh, this uh, uh, for trouble e students is concerned okay so this is the numerical techniques you have to focus on the taylor series method it is uh, a numerical technique which uh, where you have to just put your values into the formulas you have to memorize the formulas otherwise it will be difficult for you people to cover those problems you have to practice lot of practice for these type of formulas in the examinations most of the students just forgot uh, these type of equations over there okay so next one is modified euler's method 
some uh, derivation derivative part basic derivation is there so you have to do over there and also put the values into the uh, formulas and also Runge Kutta method of fourth order okay and next one is Milne's predictor and corrector formula these are just formulas which you have to memorize my dear friends otherwise you cannot tackle uh, those, those particular problems okay this is the model fifth uh, which, by which you have to cover over there four or five concepts that is Taylor series modified Euler's uh, method Runge Kutta and Milne's predictor and corrector formula okay so this is not in the syllabus that is adam's bash fourth method it was in the mathematics third of the 18 scheme so this time you have uh, it is uh, in the syllabus for the self-study okay this is for the self-study as per the syllabus over here then uh, these 20 marks are just in your pocket my dear friends so you have to focus on this particular module and also module 4 it is also a passing module so numerical method it is a numerical method first one was the numerical techniques okay so uh, in this numerical methods you have to focus on the regular falsi method which is the most important uh, what we call as part over here so definitely the questions will come on this particular method that is regular falsi method and also newton uh, ramson method and also uh, newton's forward and backward difference formula these are all just formulas which you have to write if you want uh, separate videos for these uh, formulas i have make a separate video for it and i will just provide a link in the description box for these particular formulas if you want to know okay so next one is newton's divide uh, divided difference formula and langrage's interpolation formula focus on this also interpolation sometimes they will give you simply interpolation formula don't confuse over there it is also a, a langrage's interpolation formula one is this and the regular falsi is definite over there and also newton ramson method okay you have to focus on these type of concepts and next chapter is also in this module that is simpson's one third rule and three by eighth rule focus on the one third rule okay and also trapezoidal rule sometimes they will ask as you are the first batch uh, for this particular subject so you have to write this they will ask simple uh, questions over there so don't worry for it so go for this uh, module fourth as it is a passing module and module five is also a passing module and module one these three are the just key key modules over there which you uh, haven't uh, which you should not leave over there okay so this was the module fourth next one comes up uh, that is the Laplace transform it was uh, firstly in the third semester 18th scheme okay so this time they have inserted this into the second some uh, maths over there so you have to focus on this uh, first chapter it also contains two chapters one is the importance of Laplace transform okay so next one is uh, inverse Laplace tra transform okay so you have to uh, just focus on the importance of Laplace transform uh, first first chapter you have to focus and uh, the questions which are which you should tackle over there find the Laplace transform of I have taken here the four examples you just try these four uh, suppose uh, 1 minus cos a t by t and next one is sin x sin 2x sin 3x and next one is e raised power minus 3t I have taken these just examples over here cos a t minus cos b t divided by t and also in this uh, particular chapter my dear friends there are some formulas for the Laplace transform which you all uh, which you should remember over there otherwise there are proofs also available there but uh, you have uh, only 24 as you know 24 days are left now so you cannot cover those particular proofs over there so you have to write those particular formulas on one uh, a4 sheet so that it will be easy for you to uh, memorize that okay so next one is which is most important and don't leave this question especially if you consider this module so this is one definite question over there that is the unit step function it is also called as heavy side function so questions will be like express uh, f of t is equal to uh, cos of t cos of 2t cos of 3t these are the functions f1 f2 and f3 so uh, the limits are given 0 is less than t less than pi pi is less than t less than 2 pi t is greater than 2 pi okay next question is f of t is equal to 1 t t square 0 is less uh, less than t less or equal to 1 1 is less than t less or equal to 2 so t is greater than 2 these are the functions and it, uh, these are the limits you have to express this particular function in terms of heavy side function and you have to find the laplace transform at the end okay if you want separate video also for this important question as this is the definite question over there so comment down i will definitely make separate video problem solving video for these particular uh, type of functions over there that is the unit stuff function or heavy side function so this is the first part which you, you should focus over there at least you will get uh, uh, 14 marks from uh, 20 okay so this is the uh, passing trick over there and now remaining part is the inverse laplace tra transform it is a little bit uh, tougher from the first one so prefer above one my dear friends it will be difficult for you to tackle inverse laplace transform problems over there so prefer above part okay now uh, the last part uh, which is the new module which we uh, vtu has 
what we call as inserted uh, into the second sum maths uh, over there which is the new uh, new chapter over there which was not firstly present in the mathematics uh, even in the 18 scheme 17 scheme 15 scheme but this time they have inserted this vector space and linear transformation especially for these uh, triple e students okay so you have to i cannot uh, predict the most important questions from this module as i am not aware of this uh, particular module over here so you have to just focus on uh, this uh, module question papers two module question papers are available just prepare those uh, three or six problems over there so that uh, uh, it will be easy for you to at least gain 10 marks if you want to pass this particular subject so thanks for watching my video